subscribe ecofan for more educational videos thank you everyone and welcome back to our channel today we have truly exciting and important topic to delve into that is brown fields these abundant or contaminated sites hold incredible potential for regenerating communities promoting sustainable development and protecting our environment in this video we are going to explore the world of bio brown fields what they are why they matter the challenge they present and the innovative solutions being implemented to turn them into thriving centers of activity so without further ado let's dive right in to truly appreciate the significance of brown fields we first need to understand what they are brown fields are former industrial or commercial sites that have fallen into disuse or abandonment due to potential contamination with hazardous substances. These areas pose risks to both human health and environment. The contamination can rise from a variety of sources including leaky storage tanks, improper wastage disposal and industrial activities that have left behind harmful chemicals. The result is often pollution, soil, water and even the air these sites are scattered throughout urban landscape leaving behind visual blight and unused potential the brown field property is a property that has been previously developed but has been left vacant or underutilized due to the presence of environmental contamination brown fields can be found in urban suburban and rural areas and they can vary in size from small lot to large industrial complex the per, uh, the term bio fields was coined in early 90s by united uh, environment protection agency uh, defines as a real property that expansion development or reuse of which may be complicated by the presence of or potential presence of hazardous substances pollutants or contaminants brown fields are often located in the areas that are strategically important for economic development such as near transportation corridors major development uh, centers or historical towns however the presence of contamination can make it difficult and expensive to redevelop into properties which can lead to economic stagnation and blight why should we care about brown fields i mean what is the significance of redevelopment? It is a simple, these sites represent untapped opportunity for community transformation and sustainable development. By repurposing, brown fields can breath new life into neglected areas, reducing urban sprawl and making the most of the exciting infrastructure. Brown field redevelopment can have proud, profound impact on local economies. Once contaminated sites can be transformed into vibrant commercial, residential or recreational spaces, generating jobs and increasing property values. This shift not only boosts the local economy, but also fosters a sense of pride and commitment. Brownfield redevelopment is a process of cleaning up and reusing previously developed land that has been abandoned or underutilized due to environmental contamination. Brownfield can be found in urban, suburban, rural areas that can vary into size from, I mean, from small to large complexes. We have discussed these points in earlier slides. And there has been an estimation of 4,50,000 brown fields in the United States. If we take an example, these properties represent a significant economic opportunities as they are often located in areas with high development potential. And these brown fields are also located in India. However, the presence of contamination make it difficult and expensive to redevelop these properties which can lead to economic stagnation. And the significance of brownfield redevelopment is twofold. For example, the economic development, brownfield redevelopment can create jobs and stimulate economic growth in communities that need it most. According to EPA, brownfield redevelopment projects have created over 2.4 million jobs and generated over $60 billion in economy economic activity in the United States. Then second one is environmental remediation. Redeveloping brownfields can help to clean up contaminated sites and reducing the risk of environmental hazards. This is important for protecting public health and environment. 
In addition to these two key benefits, brownfield redevelopment can also have a number of other positive impacts on communities. For example, community revitalization. Brownfield redevelopment can help to revitalize neighborhoods and improve property values. This can lead to increase investment and economic activity in the community. And next one is public health. Redeveloping brownfields can help to improve public health by reducing exposure to environmental hazards. This especially is important for children or pregnant women who are more vulnerable to the effects of pollution. While the potential rewards are significant, brownfield redevelopment comes with some fear challenges. Contaminate cleanup is a complex process that requires careful planning, expertise, and financial investment. Balancing redevelopment goals with environmental preservation is not an easy task. In addition, navigating legal and regulatory framework can be daunting. Liability concerns, complex ownership histories, and varying regulation across jurisdictions can complicate redevelopment efforts. Nevertheless, these challenges are not in some moromotable. The challenges of brownfields redevelopment include first one is contamination. Brownfields are often contaminated with hazardous substances which can make it difficult and expensive to clean up. Second one is liability. Developers who develop brownfields may be held liable for environmental impact of the site even if they were not responsible for the contamination. And next one is environmental assessment. The environmental assessment process for brownfields can be time consuming and complex. And financing, the cost of cleanup and redeveloping the brownfield can be significant and it can be difficult to obtain financing from these projects. Despite these challenges, there are a number of federal, states and local programs that offer financial incentives and technical assistance to help developers to redevelop these brownfields. These programs can help to reduce the cost of cleanup, redevelopment, and they can also help to mitigate the risk liability. And the future of brownfield redevelopment is bright. These are growing awareness of economic and environmental benefits of brownfield redevelopment and there are a number of programs in place to help developers overcome challenges of these projects. As more brownfields are redeveloped, we can expect to see a positive impact on communities around the world. Brownfield redevelopment can create jobs, stimulate economic growth and implement public health is overall a win-win for everyone involved. Now let us take a look at some inspiring examples of innovative approaches to brownfield redevelopment from the world. And for example, in some cities, an abundant industrial area was transformed into bustling mixed use of development by integrating green spaces, renewable energy sources, and sustainable buildings practices. The project not only revitalized the neighborhood, but also set a new standard for eco-friendly urban living. And in other cities, they tackled a contaminant waterfront site by combining remediation efforts with community engagement. Through public workshop, partnerships, and with local organization, the site was transformed into a vibrant public park that serves a recreational hub and a testament to the power of collaboration. So these were the, some examples. And there are a number of innovative approaches to the brownfield redevelopment that are being used to overcome the challenges of these projects and create more sustainable and equitable communities. communities. The first one is innovative remediation technology. There are a number of new remediation technologies that are being developed that can clean up brown fields very quickly, easily and cheaply and then traditional methods. These technologies include, for example, phytoremediation using of the plants, then bioremediation using microorganisms to clean up and thermal radiation uh, remediation using the heat to clean up the contamination. Second one is public-private partnerships. 
PPPs can be used to bring together the resources of government and private industry to finance and develop brownfields redevelopment projects. PPPs can be help to reduce the cost of cleanup and redevelopment and they can also help to mitigate the risk of liability. Then mixed use development. Mixed use development is a type of development that combines different uses on a single site such as residential, commercial, and industrial. Mixed use development can help to revitalize brownfield sites, creating more sustainable communities. Then community engagement. Community engagement is essential for a successful brownfield development projects by engaging the communities from the beginning of the projects process, developers can ensure that project meets the needs of the community and that it is sustainable in long term. These are just few of the innovative approaches that are being used uh, to brownfield redevelopment. As these approaches continue to develop, we expect to see more brownfields redevelopment into vibrant and sustainable communities. Some additional innovative approaches to the brownfield development, redevelopment that are green infrastructure. Uh, it is a type of infrastructure that uses natural systems to provide services such as flood control, stormwater management and air quality improvement. Green infrastructure can be used to clean up brownfields by absorbing contaminants or by providing habitat for plants and animals that can help to further remediate the site. Second one is brownfield tax credits that are type of credits of tax intensive that can be used to offset the cost of cleaning up and redeveloping brownfields. These credits can make brownfield redevelopment more affordable for developers and can help to attract investment into these projects. The last one is brownfield revolving funds. Uh, are type of financial instruments that can be used to provide loans and grants to the developers who are redeveloping brownfields. These funds can help to reduce the cost of cleanup and redevelopment can be made, uh, make these projects more feasible for the developers. Technology is playing a pivotal role in brownfield redevelopment, making cleanup and revitalizing more efficient and effective than ever before. Ground penetrating radar, advanced soil remediation techniques, and real-time environmental monitoring are just few examples how technology is revolutionizing the way we approach brownfield projects. So these tools help experts assess contamination levels, track progress, and ensure the redevelopment efforts are aligned with sustainable development goals. Then technology plays a growing role in brownfield development. There are a number of technologies that can be used to overcome the challenges of the brownfield redevelopment and create more sustainable and equitable communities. Some of the ways of technology is being used in brownfield development. First one is remote sensing. It is a technology that such as drones uses drones and satellites to assess the contamination levels of brownfields and to identify potential remediation strategies. This can help to reduce the cost of time and uh, environmental assessment process. Second is 3D modeling. This technology can be used to create a virtual representation of brownfield sites. It can be used to plan the cleanup and redevelopment of the site and it can also be used to con communicate the projects to the stakeholders. Then decision support system. DSS can be used to help developers make informed decisions about brownfield redevelopment. These systems can take into account a variety of factors such as cost of cleanup, potential for the future contamination and the economic benefits of redevelopment. Then web-based tools. There are a number of web-based tools that can be used in to support brownfield redevelopment. These tools can provide information on brownfield properties, funding opportunities and regulatory requirements. These are just few ways that technology is being used in brownfield redevelopment. As technologies continue to develop, we expect to see more innovative ways to use technologies to clean up our brownfields, creating jobs and revitalizing communities. 
and some few more technologies that are used in the uh, brownfield development or virtual reality can be used to give stakeholders a realistic experience of brownfields uh, before it is redeveloped. This can build support for the project and ensure the redevelopment meets the needs of the community. Then artificial intelligence, it is the now talk of the town, artificial intelligence can be used to develop remediation technologies and to automate some of the tasks involved in the field of redevelopment. Then last one is the blockchain technology uh, that can use to track the progress of uh, brownfields redevelopment projects and to ensure they complete and transparent accountable manner. This can help to build trust with stakeholders and attract investment into these projects. Now the government initiatives are very important. Some of the government initiatives and initiatives play a vital role in encouraging brownfield redevelopment. And in this slide, we will explore some of the ways the government are supporting these transformative projects like tax intensives, grants, liabilities, protection are commonly used to attract private investment and mitigate the financial risk associated with brownfield redevelopment. These incentives not only benefit developers but also empower communities to control their neglected spaces and shape their own future. And some of the programs are this EPA's Brownfield Program, Small Business Administration, Brownfield Cleanup Loan Program, Environmental Protection Agencies, Brownfield Revolving Loan Fund Program, and state and local uh, Brownfield programs. As we look into the future, the potential for brownfield redevelopment remains immense. By integrating sustainable practices, embracing technology advancements, and fostering collaboration, we can continue to unlock the hidden potential of these forgotten species. With a growing emphasis on environmental stewardship and community well-being, brownfield redevelopment is posing to be at the forefront of sustainable urban development for years to come. The future of brownfields redevelopment is bright. There are a number of factors that are contributing to the growing interest in the brownfield redevelopment. These are the increasing cost of greenfield development. So this is the one. Then second one is growing awareness of the environmental benefits of the brownfield development. Then availability of government incentives. We have discussed it earlier there are some programs that encourage the private partners to invest in the um, brownfield uh, development. Then development of new technologies like remote sensing, blockchain, artificial technology. These all technologies they encourage the people or communities to uh, invest in the brownfield development. And there you have it, our exploration for brownfields and their transformation from neglected sites to vibrant communities assets. We hope this video has shed light on importance of brownfield redevelopment and the incredible impact it can have over, on our cities and our planet. Remember, every brownfield has a potential to tell a new story and together we can reclaim the past for a brighter, more sustainable future. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to spread the message of brownfield revitalization. Until next time, stay curious and stay exploring. Thank you.